Hi, I'm Randy Grimes, National Director of Professional Relations at Transformations Treatment Center. Last time, I shared about chronic physical pain and how it led me down the road to addiction that started in my NFL days. I believe that untreated or poorly managed pain is at the root of every addiction. But not all pain is physical. Untreated emotional pain can also lead us down the road to addiction. And when I talk about emotional pain, I'm talking about chronic feelings of sadness, depression, fear and anxiety, guilt and shame. People with emotional pain have endured periods of perceived trauma, stress, loneliness. Maybe you've lost a loved one, or a job, or a relationship, or maybe you've experienced anxiety when there was no visible cause. Look, if I had a cast on my leg, you can see that. And if you saw me fumbling to try to open a door, you'd probably help me. But if it's emotional pain, there's nowhere to put a cast. You can't see my struggle. You don't even know that I need help. So here's the kicker. The same medication that blocks the pain from, say, a broken leg, numbs the emotional pain when you feel lonely, rejected, ostracized. So is it any wonder that so many people self-medicate when they suffer from untreated or poorly treated emotional pain? Bottom line, both physical and emotional pain can take you down the road to addiction. And if that's you today, you don't have to stay there. You don't have to stay hooked on a bottle of booze and a prescription to pills. The road to happiness is not about staying numb. It's about coming alive and reclaiming the part of you that's slipping away. Let me help you. Don't suffer when help is available. Call me.